I'm Papa Neutrino. I'm videotaping this on my raft. Well, Papa Neutrino always said that uh, he's either going to live like a bum or live like a king. Not anywhere in between. I was aware that the rent would ruin the man. We've been together 21 years now. We've raised five children all over the country. And um, we've never had a job. We were living like bums most of our lives. But he was always on that scheme to get rich. In fact, uh, documenting our lives with a video camera, that was one of his grand schemes. Say hello to David Letterman. Hello, David Letterman. Hi, New York. Hi, 42nd Street. I have recorded video after video beyond the wildest imagination. Papa Nuccino was always, you know, always looking through the garbage cans and fascinated with what people would throw out. And there was plenty of it, especially in New York. When you see homeless people with their carts filled with all kinds of stuff, it seems useless to them, you know. But it isn't. In the back of their mind, they're thinking, well, if I got this, I could do this. If I got this, I could do that. Can I have the bed after you're done? You gotta wait till we put it out the dumpster out there. I can't give it to you, man. It's gotta be. It's out there. The dumpster gonna be there. You just go and get it. My life is a contradiction to the average citizen. I'm random, and most people are sequential. Too big to carry right now. I'm not crazy. I'm not going to take that much. It's too big to carry. I have to wait. More wheels, more wheels. My life doesn't require more than simple clothing, a place to sleep and seclusion, and some really good basic food and, and freedom of movement. I always think of Neutrino as being like a Cubist portrait. I've been at the New Yorker now almost 28 years, and I've specialized in finding exotic and, and I've, characters, and I have been surrounded by f friends and writers who specialize in the same thing, and there's nobody in the catalog that comes close to this. It's 74 years of this quest for and the individual life, the self-created life, which is a life lived, you know, by some artists, perhaps. I would teach you how to do this if I could. All I can say is, you have to walk a road. Despite the enormous hardships that his poverty has, has subjected him to, he, he essentially believes that no one in the world could be as lucky as he is to wake up with a whole long day to invent.